Welcome back. We're going to take a little tour around RuneScape today and I'm going to show you some of my favorite easter eggs that are still in the game. And let me just say, RuneScape has some of the best easter eggs of any game I've ever played. Thanks to everyone on Reddit, YouTube, and the wiki team that made this one possible. Let's get into it. Number 1. That 70s Show In the town of Sleep, west of the Sisterhood Sanctuary, there's a house with a cooking icon. If you go into the basement of this house, it's actually directly modeled after Eric Foreman's basement from that 70s show. This whole blood shortage bites. <laughs> There's no blood shortage, man. It's all fake. Number 2. The Big Les Show. What are you talking to me? So this one's pretty cool. If you bring a knife and a loaf of bread to the tar swamp on Fossil Island, you can make breadcrumbs and use them on this funky plant. It's this specific bell shroom. It'll actually take you to a secret area, a little safe spot in the southwest corner of the swamp where you can find a man named Charles Charlington. While maybe a stretch, I choose to believe that this is a reference to the narrator of the Australian Microsoft Paint-based comedy series The Big Les Show. Ah, didn't see you there. My name is Charles Charlington, the narrator slash storyteller for The Big Les Show. Number 3, Dark Souls. For the first reference to Dark Souls, check out the Wintertop Bonfire. The second are the Knights of Varlamore, which we've gotten to see a lot more recently. But in the quest in search of knowledge, we get a true Sunbro reference to Solaire himself. After filling out the books for the mini quest, you can give this guy five dragon stones or kill him, and he'll give you a temple coin. You can use this coin on the stone relief in the center of the Forthos dungeon, and then return to Corin Castle to tell the Knight of Varlamore about the sun altar you found. He'll go back there, and the next time that you pray at that altar, your character will actually do the praise the sun emote. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Now these next few are classics, so you've probably heard of a few of them, but I still think they deserve their place on this list. Number 4. The Matrix There's an obstacle in the Brimhaven Agility course that has a bullet time dodge animation. You know, like the Matrix. Number 5. Spongebob if you look over here in Guardians of the Rift, you can actually see Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward's houses, along with quirky examined texts. Pretty neat. Number 6. Castaway. Northeast of Fossil Island, there's a small island that you can't actually get to, but on that island is Wilhelm. Wilson! I'm sorry! I'M SORRY, WILSON! Number 7, Game of Thrones. So the Clue Hunter outfit kinda has Game of Thrones vibes anyway, for sure, but a couple of the examined texts on the pieces are actually direct references to the show. I mean, book. Or... whatever. Number 8, Lord of the Rings. If you venture deep into the wilderness and find this specific volcano here, and just kind of chuck a gold ring in there. You get treated with this little uh, peeping nasty here that's Gollum. You can also have a fun little NPC contact conversation with Evil Dave once you've unlocked the Lunar Spellbook and you tell him to build you an army worthy of Zamorak. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Number 9, Harry Potter. So a lot of people have probably seen the trapdoor under Cerberus. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer Philosopher's Stone, Fluffy is a six-eyed, three-headed, four-legged dog in charge of protecting a certain stone, and Cerberus has been known to drop like a stone or two. Also, during the Making Friends with My Arm quest, a troll busts in and says there's like an old man in the dungeon or something like that. Number 10. 
So all of the unidentified fossils in the game, interestingly enough, are based on old Pokemon, or fossils and objects from Pokemon. The small fossil is F unknown. The medium fossil is a dome fossil which can be regenerated into a Kabuto. The large fossil is its counterpart, the helix fossil that can become an Ammonite. And the rare fossil is actually the old amber that's used to make an Aerodactyl. Now while I could end the video here, I actually have a few more references I'd like to include because I think they're pretty cool, and those are NPC names. Kicking off the NPC names here, we got Robert Boss and Zaya, obviously a reference to Bob Ross, the famous painter. Next up we got Tresner over here in Varrock, representing Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. We got Ram Ocean over here in the Hosidious uh, Cooking Place, reference to Gordon Ramsay. In Nordic languages, Mord Gunner's name means murder, and he holds a bottle of red rum, which could be reference to The Shining. And over here in the Verrock Church, we've got this sleeping fellow named Jeremy Clarkson, a reference to Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. That only realistically scratches the surface of the Easter eggs and references in this game. There are so many examine texts and collection log secrets to find, and the devs also really have a thing for Monty Python. I've decided to end this video here and link some great videos by other creators in the description if you want to see more of the game's cool secrets. Take it easy.